five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So same skip up we did yesterday, but this time instead of just getting back into our side by side, what we need was to use this rotation to turn away from the power, catch her back, and then back into our basic. So as we're turning, we wanted to keep our footwork and our bounce. So we had the kick and turn and turn and turn and turn. Yeah. Uh, so you want to kick in the direction you're traveling to and keep not just bounce. kick in front and then step. Keep the bounce. Keep the heels close to the floor. Yeah. So if we do that together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, kick and turn, turn and rock, step, foot. This arm, uh, you have to remove it. Powers, it's not up to you to lift your arm in order to turn. So here, leaders, from the kick, what I want you to do is just slide my arm back behind my back and then just catch the forward back after the rotation. We mentioned also that you can add extra turns. We didn't do it because we didn't have enough room. But from the kick, kick and turn, 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 turn and rock set. You can add extra rotations if you want. Then. We worked on some hand to hand. So we started from the kick on five, this guy, but we wanted to move away and stretch away here. So leaders you wanted to bring your right hand behind the left shoulder blade of the power and push her through. Power is out here, you want to slide. Slide your arm down, your head should be approximately behind the elbow of your leader. Yeah, inside. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and from here we Pushing the forward out and then we're using that to turn in. From here, we want to catch the hand of the power and go all the way until we reach the kick with the left leg for the leaders, right leg for the power. From here, we had we worked a little bit on the footwork, just going kick and kick, step, kick and kick, step, kick and kick, step, kick, and kick, step, kick, and kick step, So kick, step, remember, kick, step. keep the heels close to the ground, keep the bounce, keep a bit of a lean forward. Uh, and when we were doing it solo, we were keeping it pretty linear, but when we do it together in the and, um, mirror one, we're more rotated into this, right? Because we're not trying to stop ourselves by ourselves, but we're letting this connection stop our rotation. Yeah, uh, we didn't work on that because of the room, but we mentioned also that you can add extra rotation here. So here you can go kick and kick, step, turn, turn, and kick, and kick, step, turn, turn, and kick, and kick. Step kick. Then we uh, went back to side by side. So from here, we wanted to move back close to our power. So I'm using this kick to move back close to her, bringing my right hand under hers, and then going back into our side by side position from this side. One, two, three, four. Away. Kick, step, kick, and kick, step, kick, and kick, step. Then move close, kick, and back, and box step. Then we went into opposition. One, two, three. Kick and rock, step, kick. Then so we just wanted to use after this kick a rock step so in the direction, and then we're going into opposition. Here we wanted to keep this hand low, keep your elbow down, down, and just stretch. Stretch into this. Makes it a little bit lean more linear than the other one, but you should really be traveling in this one. Yeah. Then, uh, to switch back into the mirror one, we just had to do the same transition. So using a kick and turning it into a rock step. So here, kick and kick, step, kick and kick, step, kick and rock step. And then getting back into this mirror position. Uh, we also use the same transition to go back into side by side. Kick and kick, step, kick and kick, step, kick and rock step, kick and back, rock step. 